What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a, a riveting, compelling, yet eh, it could be shocking for some people. But all I got to say is I bring it on, baby. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Here we are, the biggest icon in the space today, your anti hero hero. Coming to you with another video. <laughs> All right, here we are, the bleeding market and its quick recovery. And uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's a strategy amongst the 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 big holders, the big people, right? To liquidate, to to just screw people, right? Uh, into you know, lo wiping out exchanges and things like that on trades and all that stuff and it's just a strategy to, to just kind of wipe the books clean for, for a shitload of people and uh that way you know you can buy up again and all this other stuff that's going on right now crazy stuff going on in crypto i just love it when you got all those freaking token shillers oh buy dibs and buy bliss and all that look at this Continues to go down and down and down. Look at that. Man, look at the liquidity left in Bliss. This thing is just... It's dead. Look at this thing. There's no way of coming back. It's over for Bliss. I think everybody's going to cash out of this and it's over. And I'm kind of waiting for the same thing that happened with uh, Divs here. They have a lot of liquidity still, but it's still continuing to just go down and down and down. Look at that. It's going down. Because people don't give a shit about this shit. So, uh, yeah. Can't wait till this stuff gets wiped because bloods just bleed crypto. And all the FOMO shit, all the FOMO queens out there, like that FOMO idiot Tiwi. Oh, don't FOMO me into Matic. Yeah, FOMO dude, FOMO dude, because that's all you do. You FOMO into everything. And you're trying to push this shitty ass platform. So, speaking of platforms though, this is what this video is about. Alright, I'm going to jump on this thing that they're the bloods are just trying to just put out there because you got to be out of your mind to be thinking about this thing all right you know they're, they're trying to put put this out there he had to have his buddy shill it for the affiliate reasonings of it because that's the only way to really make this thing pay off but when you look at it though why would you why, why would anybody use a platform and pay for it to gain profit let alone you're paying 150 a month, 269 a month, right? And you're giving back 25% on top of that. So you're paying for it and giving back 25% on top of that, right? And these are just discounted prices for now. Wait, what about when the prices go back up, right? And then the CEO club, 500 bucks a month. Are you kidding me? You're going to pay 500 bucks a month? All right, these two are bad because you're paying back 25% of your profits on top of the you know these fees here whereas this one yeah you keep all of it in your pocket they're trying to say oh you know you get to keep more in your pocket yeah 500 bucks a month still i mean think about it that's a lot of money 500 bucks a month all right and so and then the yearly they're like oh man you pay this right now that's half off three thousand dollars though to pay to make profit are you kidding me that's just idiotic why would i want to do that there's there's no reason i, I would ever pay seventeen hundred three thousand a year to to buy something to pay profit all right and then on top of that there's people that are saying that the trader is questionable because you're leaving your, your funds in the hands of traders, all right, a trader, sorry, trader, and that um, it's questionable already. They've already said it. It's all put been put out there that, that it's, he's questionable. He's, you know, he's not that great. The, the, the earnings haven't been that great. And um, is it even worth paying this? That's the thing, though, right? And on top of that, they even said themselves, when they asked, can we see it? Well, there's nothing to see except what's posted daily, and that's what we get. And it's like, well, shit, isn't that just like any other platform? 
So being on that same argument, just like any other platform, why would I want to pay to do some shit like this that, you know, they say, oh, you're paying for this shit. I don't get it. All right. When the best leading thing out there right now is this right here, Investrix. All right. So Investrix, you know, this is the place to be in. All right. Despite volatility in crypto, look at all the volatility. I woke up this morning. And I watched at the the minute I looked at my phone. It said thirty eight thousand, and all of a sudden it plunged to thirty one thirty. You know, thirty one thousand, thirty thousand. I was like, wow. Just as I looked at my phone this morning, I was like, damn, that's crazy. You know, right when I woke up out of bed, and then all of a sudden, look at this, it's back up to forty now. All of a sudden, but or close to 40 is 39 too, but it's touch 40 but this is the place to be in and it's 14 days and you're going to make a minimum of uh you know three percent three point four percent a day 47.2 or 0.8 percent profit every 14 days right and give or take you could go into shit gains the other bot platform that's out there where you're you're held in for 14 days, what's the difference? I mean, if you want to pick where to put your funds in to lock it in for 14 days, I mean, why go to shit gains when you can go to this right here, Investrix? Why even go to Manifest, that garbage, where you got to pay to make profit? When you can just put it in here for 14 days. The other one, you got to be at least 30 days before you can even touch the money. But they don't want to admit that it's a platform. They don't want to admit that you got to hold your funds in for 30 days. So with all that, and then on top of that, you got the contradiction of one tuber that's in there talking about, I, could, I feel confident about compounding for the, for the rest of the year. But I'm going to pull out in October, and then I'm going to comp. Well, uh, no, that's not compound for the rest of the year. I mean... Think about it. Compounding for the rest of the year means you don't touch the money. So that means you're not compounding for the rest of the year. I'm confident I could compound till next year. Well, if you're taking money out in October, that's not compounded till next year, idiot. And so when you have idiots like that that says, I'm confident in this, I believe in this, when he has a really terrible track record of believing in things, Believing in shit coins like Moon Day, believing in if you could go back to Moonberg, he he probably believed in Tobias and Moonberg, and believed in David Peterson and and arbitrage, and the list goes on and on. I believe in him, and I believe in this, and he got burned every time. I believe in Moon Day because you know Densetsu is this and that, and then he gets screwed over. And I believe in Kobus because Final Mente, he was one of us. He's just like one of us. You know, I believe in Kobus. And next thing you know, same thing happens. Same results. You, you, every time you believe in something, it's, it, you, you, you get screwed over. And you believe in Manifest. But Manifest hasn't done anything to prove that they're anything different from any of these other platforms. So Investrix is a hell of an opportunity to get in on all right let me show you here what I'm talking about all right this right here is the ultimate opportunity uh, in Investrix as I'm trying to uh, log out because I can't get to the landing page without logging out and then I'll tell you what I'm talking about so this is an automatic crypto bot trading <laughs> set it and forget it Hands free, as they all say with that garbage manifest and shit, shit coins or shit gains, whatever you want to call it. And concept symbol, 14 days, doesn't matter about volatility in the market because they can trade on volatility of the market. But they're talking about 47.8% in two weeks, 14 days. All right, so that breaks down 3.4% a day. Is it manageable? Is it reasonable? Yeah, very, you know. And uh, they have all these different strategies, how they go about it. All you got to do is make the deposit, you're in. 14 days, you withdraw, right? They got 
human traders and they have AI bot trading. Hey, sounds just like other platforms out there. So this is the ultimate opportunity that you're missing out on. And have they've had results? Heck yeah, plenty of people have pulled results. All right. And so some of the things I wanted to just kind of quickly point out is um, in the platform itself, right? When your bot is done, all right, it will say done, all right? And then when it says done, you have to click on it. Nothing's automatic. So when it's done, it's done. You have to click done, and then an option will ask you about um, cashing out. So you want to hit cash out. That way, the funds will end up being back on your dashboard balance here, right? So that way you can do withdraw or whatever you want you need to do. Or if you want to re re-enter back into the bots to go back and trade again for 14 days, you could do that. So I'm currently in the 2X club myself. So that's a separate thing. That's more into the hedge funds. And you have to be qualified to do that, meaning that you have to go through the application process. So that's what this looks like here. You want to apply for the 2X Club. And you apply. And they want to make sure they uh, event you in some way. I don't know how that process played out. That's up to them to decide whether they, you know, they have confidence and they vet you into uh, joining the 2X Club where you can make 100% ROI. So that means that, you know, for example, I put 20000 in, and by the end of that uh, 14 days, then that's when it will come out to 40000 right? That's the concept, 100%, right? So we got in May 9th, so that's still another four more days to go um, into when that time comes. And I will provide an update on that experience and what you know what I don't have to pay for it I don't have to set any sort of settings I don't have it's all hands-free it's hands-free guys no subscription none of that bullshit that you got to talk about that those bloods are shilling out there talking about oh you gotta pay you know 3,000 years that's half the price that's a deal guys come on really I'm not gonna pay for that shit and let alone you got a questionable, you know, trader with questionable results that you're getting right now, but yet I'm fully confident about this platform. I'm fully confident with this guy, you know, LCM and all this other garbage. Come on, really? I think this is the ultimate opportunity that that you know, if you're not in on it, that you should get in on, and you're totally missing out right now. But the thing is, though. It's constantly flowing, and this just got started when you look at it. It just got started, like, literally April 29th, April 30th, and it, all you got to do is just come on board. $1,000 minimum is what it takes per bot. There's no 1500 They go by a round number, so one bot equals $1,000, all right? So you could go... 10 bots, that's 10,000. You could go 5 bots, that's 5,000 though. That's how that plays out. Hedge funds, which is the 100x, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 100%, you know, double your your amount that you put in. You need a $20,000 minimum to get in um, on that. Plus, you got to go through the application process in order for them to vet you um, if you could be part of this 2x club. And so... Like I said, uh, I've worked with some of these people and other platforms, like collaboratively, um, and I feel pretty good about them um, in terms of fulfilling their part, doing their part, doing their thing, um, and the results will show once my 14 days are up and I show uh, whether or not you know, my... 20,000 is going to be a 100x or not 100x 100% ROI 2x right so check it out links down below why pay for your shit man this is it right here Investrix the leading AI bot trading platform all right comment down below 
Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.